ecosystem. Okay, G- getting into that, you in one section of your book, you talk about attending to our attention. And you borrow a, a term from Thoreau where he mentions macadamized intellect. What on earth is that? And how does it relate to our media consumption today? Yeah, so Thoreau is talking about uh, his own sense of information overload and, and not knowing what's important to attend to and what's just trivial. And he says that if we perpetually attend to, you know, to the equivalent of a social media feed, then our minds can be permanently macadamized. And that's a reference to a relatively new, at that point, uh, road construction technology, whereby it used to be roads were built with um, successively smaller building material. So at the bottom, you would do big, big, big blocks of stone, and then you would work your way uh, to smaller blocks. And this uh, Scottish engineer thought and discovered it was true uh, that it would, be, it would be better if you just use very small stones all the way through. This would withstand freezing better and withstand uh, you know heavy carts better. So uh, when you build a macadam road, nothing big. There are no big pieces. It's all small stuff. And Thoreau is worried that when you attend to trivia, you don't have any sort of uh, mental anchor, mental commitments, and your mind is just filled with little tidbits, little bits of trivia. And uh, so it actually, you know, changes the way that you think. And of course, a lot of recent studies on neurobiology have supported Thoreau's argument that our patterns of attention can change the neurological structures of our brains and uh, change the way that we think. So I I think Thoreau's metaphor is kind of weird, but also maybe helpful. So this results in, as you put, a lot of trivial knowledge, but no cohesive um, framework to understand it all. Is that a fair way to put it? Yeah, uh, no cohesive framework and maybe also no sort of clear fundamental commitments, you know. Um, so one of the things that Thoreau talks about is if if your mind has been thoroughly macadamized, it's hard for you to critique and resist uh, any sort of headline or um, slogan or advertisement or whatever that uh, smart people send spinning down the highways of your mind. So it's harder for us to think, you know, well, because I believe X, Y, and Z, I'm, I'm critical or skeptical of this new claim uh, about this technology or this political proposal or this headline. And instead, we are more prone to just um, be outraged and kind of respond emotionally to all the, the crazy things that we read about each day. 